dawn off the coast of California. So normally when you're on boats like this, you're out looking for dolphin or fish, but uh, today it's grocery bags. We're fishing for plastic bags. My fishing partner is Dr. Marcus Erickson, who has a PhD in science education. Plastic and nature meet. Look. Erickson studies the amount and impact of plastic debris in the ocean. After successfully fishing the surface, we wondered what might be below. Out here, the water looks very clear, but you never know what's lying underneath. The bags we found do more than just litter the ocean floor. This is the Marine Mammal Center. Its staff and volunteers rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured animals. He's um, not very responsive, and he'll get a, an initial assessment. Dr. Bill Van Bon is director of veterinary science. Whales, sea lions, uh, dolphins. Um, in my personal experience, I've seen all three of those animals with bags in them. If a marine mammal swallows a plastic bag, mm -hmm. can it kill the animal? It could. It could. But I think the bigger concern is the unseen effects of these materials. But as those plastic bags migrate out to the deep ocean, they fragment very quickly. So one plastic bag can turn into 10,000 particles the size of fish food. Erickson has traveled to remote locations where rotating ocean currents, known as gyres, have trapped debris, sometimes creating what's described as an enormous plastic soup. Some claim the garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean is the size of Texas, but nobody really knows. We collected this debris. There are a few recognizable items in here. There's a pen cap. There are two pen caps. If you look carefully right there, it's a toy gorilla. As far from land as you can get on the planet, we found evidence of our trash. And they found the remnant of a plastic bag. Here is a plastic bag that's been knotted evidence of plastic bags in the gyres. We're going to open these fish up and just see if they are ingesting our trash. Erickson brought us three lantern fish from his 2008 trip to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Right there, that's plastic. We searched their stomachs and found not plastic bags, but bits of plastic garbage in two of the three fish. 